Yeah, Shalom, all praise to you, Hauba, Shami, all shy. Double honest to the past was that great millstone ruling well. Uh, basically, man, just gonna do this video and then um, just gonna talk about the cashless. Um, it's a quick one, but you know, the cashless goes into the RFID. So if you look at the title, it says The Rise of the Tap and Go Cashless Society. It says London, blinking, you'll miss it. And you can read this article for yourself. I'm not going to read all of it, but I'm going to just read certain points. Blink and you'll miss it in the age of increasing cashless payments and tap and go transactions. What are the consequences for businesses, customers and society? A recent study of 15 first world countries has concluded that one in five Europeans rarely carry cash on their person. 54% of Europeans agree that they use less physical cash than they did 12 months ago. In fact, Sweden could be the first country to go, go completely cashless. Now, I've read articles like this before, but there's just always articles coming out on it because everything's going in way of not carrying around cash, man, and using your phone to pay for things, using technology rather than just straight up cash, you know? The rise of the cashless payment the first general issue credit card in the UK was introduced by Barclays in 1966 with debit cards following the 1987. It has now been a decade since the contactless card and there are now over 108 million contactless cards in circulation within the UK. After the contactless card came uh, with mobile payment and now spending on all forms of contactless systems, uh, Non-cash transactions are seen as more practical than carrying cash in your pocket. Contactless transactions are easier still, bypassing the two or three seconds it takes to insert a pin. So, you know, you know, the elites are trying to, they're, they're doing away with cash, man. And everything's just digital. You don't, they're, they're not, you, you know, there's going to be a time where you're not even going to see cash. They're going to completely do away with it, which we're in that time now where they're pushing technology to like contactless and your phones. People, some people just actually just use their phones. They don't even use a bank card, mate. You don't even need a bank card. If you, you got online banking and you got your phone. And then, then they're gonna say, well, you, you can, if you, you then, if you can use that technology, you can use it, you could, you don't even need a device. You can have it on you, permanent. That's why people are getting RFID implanted. The impact on businesses in 2014, Transport for London banned cash on buses across London. They banned it in 2014. At the time, there was outrage, but now the thought of trying to pay the bus driver is ludicrous. Cashless payments are more convenient and efficient, preventing delays indeed. Uh, since 2014, they claim they've saved 24 million. So that's what they did over there in London. They banned cash. You can't travel with cash down there, to be fair. And that just shows you a lot. You can't actually even use cash. You, I remember the first day I went down there, I had some cash. And I thought I was going to pay on the bus. And they said to me, ah, oh, everyone was looking at me fucking like, like I'm crazy. The bus driver's looking at me like I was crazy. You know? Uh, so... So as you can see with things like this, man. So all right, articles, like I said, it's a long one. I'm not gonna read it. You can, you know, kind of read it yourself. There's more, that's if you wanna, you know, there's more information in it. Um, you know, and then they're talking about how it's, you, you can't get, you know, non-cash, it's easy, it's more secure. You can get pin, 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 pickpocketed, someone can take your cash. Uh, you know and stuff like that so they're just telling you why it's more beneficial to not have cash but you see it's a plan of the elites because according to the scriptures you support, your money's supposed to have um, value about it you know so um, I mean there's a lot of factors to this article but let me just go into the scriptures now, man. 
Ähm yeah, I think it's Leviticus 19. Let me see. Uh See if I can find it quickly. Maybe I put it in wrong. <coughs> yeah, I did. Wait. I think it's Leviticus. Okay, I'll read this one. Um, Proverbs 11 and 1. A false balance is an abomination to the Lord, but a just way is his delight. And when you um, got the money system, it was based on weight, a pound of this gold and silver, you know what I mean? Actual value, actual weight, actual resources. Now, people are using cash. That's not even backed by gold, so it's really not worth anything. So you might say, I've got all this in my account. Illusion of wealth. But the people that change the system, when, the, when, the, when your bank's closed, you can't get your money out, then you ain't got shit. Then you ain't got nothing. You ain't gonna be able to pay for that car. That car's gonna get taken off you. Yeah? You ain't gonna be able to pay for that house. That house is gonna get taken off you. Yeah? Cause you thought that those digits in the screen meant something, but they didn't, man. So that's what the elites are trying to do. Get the, the, just control people, man. The whole money system is a control-based system, man. Because they all own the gold and everything and the land. And you're there sitting up there talking about you got um, numbers on the screen. It's just numbers on the screen, right? Now they're even doing away with the paper, very paper that it's on. Deuteronomy 25 and 15. But thou shalt have a perfect and a just weight. A perfect and just measure thou shalt have. So the Lord, the Lord's gonna do away with, um, you know, the plans of the elites. But according to revelations, he's pushing and he's gonna, he's chipping everybody, man. He's gonna cause all to get RFID inserted. And if you take that, you're gonna be destroyed. As simple as that, mate. That's in the book of Revelations. You know. That's in the book of Revelations, man. You know. Conclusion, whilst it seems to be seen what the exact benefits and pitfalls of a cashless economy will be in the UK, the move towards a completely cashless society certainly feels inevitable. Big, business, big businesses will likely benefit while small independent traders will be forced to adapt or potentially fall by the wayside. However, the fast rate of change is entirely possible that before long, seeing Churchill Austin's face as you pay for morning coffee will seem like a distant memory. So this is what these top businessmen are pushing for, mate. Cashless. And really it alludes to the what RFID chip. Because using your phone is not good enough. It's a phone, you know what I mean? They're gonna They're gonna just digitize it all, man. Even like that beast blockchain Bitcoin thing, that's another conditioning for it. Or oh, don't use cash, it's all all on it's all Bitcoins, digital monies. Which the same money that you're using now is the same thing really. But they're just they're just conditioning you, man. But see, at the moment they're straight up just chipping people anyway. Sweden, all over the world, man. You know. Anyway, with that I'm gonna say um shalom, you know, and these things here. Yeah. This thing's here. Yeah.